Hello Warriors! Today we will talk about an important update coming to For Honor, the Core Combat Update. The game has been known to be more defensive focused, and with the update, the game will shift to a more offensive state that will be viable across all skill levels. The update has three goals. Improve the consistency of the Core Combat experience. Enhance the viability of general offense across the entire set of attacks in the game for all heroes. And, based on your testing grounds feedback, counter light spam's effectiveness. Let's take a closer look at the changes coming into the Core Combat update. As first introduced in Testing Grounds, we remove the visual variability of opponent's fight move speeds caused by timing of inputs by hiding the first 100 milliseconds of animation. This means you won't need to hit an exact frame to delay your inputs in order to hide the first portion of the attack from your opponent. You can now use the input buffer to input your attacks as comfortably as you'd like, and your attacks will remain consistently efficient. This principle allows feints to be more believable. While on your screen all feints will still happen as soon as you press the button, the first 100 milliseconds of the feint will be shown to the opponent as your attack still continuing. This should allow you to comfortably use the input buffer to feint, or soft feint, while maximizing the believability of your faint mix-ups. While before we needed zone input to be on the same exact frame, the new system allows a 33 millisecond zone input window, which will help players no longer miss their zone inputs again. Light attacks are now generally frame disadvantage on hit, meaning that if your opponent hits you with a light, ends their chain, and then you both press the same button afterwards, your button will come out first because you recover first. This will help you counter light spam by giving you an opportunity to interrupt your opponent by starting your offense first after being hit. On heavy finisher, however, we generally made these frame advantage, rewarding the player for finishing their chain with a heavy. While we improved offense overall and defined that light attacks are expected to land more often, we increased the stamina cost of light attacks to reduce the effectiveness of light spam. Stamina penalties on miss, block, superior block, and parry were removed. This will prevent you from going out of stamina when blocked or parried, reduce the penalty for being parried, and encourage players to actively fight for their victory. We adjusted light and heavy damages based on their intended functions of attacking. This means damage from lights are reduced while heavies, especially heavy finishers, retain their higher damage values. We also generally reduce damage and counterattacks and parry punishes. Thanks for watching this quick overview of the Core Combat Update. For full details, be sure to check out our Year 4 Season 2 Title Update 2 patch notes. We're really looking forward to putting these changes into your hands. See you on the battlefield, warriors!